there's something deeply mysterious about the jungle. Sure, we've explored a lot of the Earth's surface, but there's always something unfathomably scary out there, just waiting for us to stumble across it. We would venture to say that even apparently haunted forests are among the most terrifying locations on this planet. Some locations throughout the world have a really scary history that is far more difficult to dismiss with a shaky laugh. Seeing it for the first time, you wouldn't believe what you were seeing. Even now, some of these discoveries unearthed deep inside the jungles of our planet are still hard to believe. But they are all really real, frequently mind-bending and occasionally defying logic. Join us as we embark on a thrilling journey of the 15 most terrifying things found in the world's jungle that baffle scientists. Fifteen. Piripkura, the last two survivors. Deep in the Amazon rainforest, there are tribes that have little to no contact with the outside world. Most are aware of modern life to some degree. Unfortunately, many are negatively impacted by illegal logging and mining practices. Still, there is a great deal about their way of life that anthropologists do not understand. Way out in the remote jungle, these tribes are extremely isolated. One of the most far removed groups is the Piripkura. Their community, set far in the western wilds of Brazil, numbered just about 20 members in the recent past. Even their neighbours don't know much about them. Their wandering lifestyle has earned them the nickname Butterfly People from the neighbouring Gaviao tribe. Officials in Brazil didn't find out about their plight until 1998, when two males from Piripkura fled the jungle that year to get medical treatment. They informed the medics during their stay that a group of hostile invaders had killed most of their comrades. Finally, taking action in 2021, a Brazilian judge was alarmed by the group's low numbers. To protect the Piripkura people, he directed FUNAI, the National Agency for Indigenous Peoples to reserve 600,000 acres of territory. It is believed that the tribe will be able to flourish in an environment free from modern influences. Still, many are worried that illegal logging will eventually reach human settlements. Deforestation has brought violence, sickness and death to the tribe's members. Every year, their way of life becomes more threatened. Their isolation is under threat from illegal industry encroachment. In turn, anthropologists are worried they may never understand how the Piripkura really live. We risk losing knowledge of a mysterious and isolated society that is unlike any other in the world very soon. 14. A completely untouched African rainforest. Finding an uncharted region of the Earth is a very rare occurrence for scientists. Actually, it's quite rare for such to occur. The entire planet may be seen on Google Earth. All of us can view its pictures with just a click of the mouse. There isn't much left in the way of uncharted territory. For ages, daring explorers have sailed around the globe in search of uncharted territory. So picture the astonishment on the faces of the scientists in 2012 when a Mozambican environmentalist uncovered an entirely new jungle. Dr. Julian Bayliss is a butterfly expert who has spent years using Google Earth to examine rainforests in Africa. In 2012, he made out an image of a crater on top of a mountain in the African nation. Within that crater, there seemed to be a pristine rainforest high up in the sky. Scientists were shocked at the discovery, but also somewhat skeptical. Five years later, Bayliss took a team of 28 researchers to Mozambique to find out what was in that untouched forest. The journey wasn't without challenges, though. Scaling the mountain, called Liko, proved almost impossible. The team used drones to look ahead of them and map out paths. But after making it to the top, Bayliss's team found some surprising things. Among them were several completely new species, including a type of butterfly that Bayliss later named after the mountain. Even more surprisingly, they found evidence of human settlement in the sky-high jungle. In the thick, faraway woodland, ancient clay vessels were found scattered about. 
They theorized that the ancient people who lived at the time had sent them up as an offering to show their gratitude for the river's descent from above. Even still, the long-gone inhabitants' identities remain a mystery. No one knows how they got up the mountain or how long they stayed up there. 13. The Ancient Animal Cave Paintings of the Amazon South America was the last continent colonized by humans. Migration patterns indicate that early humans arrived in the region around 12,000 years ago, at the very end of the last ice age. Scientists have been attempting to reconstruct the first settlements for decades. The Amazon's rich biodiversity and its humid environment have further complicated the mystery, and modern researchers still have a long way to go before they can piece together what life was like for early humans in the Amazon. In 2017, things started to shift. In that same year, scientists dug eight miles into the Colombian rainforest to uncover a series of cave artwork. It is believed that the hand-scrawled drawings originate from the dawn of humankind in the Amazon. Animals such as mastodons and giant sloths are shown in the drawings. Biologists find the depiction of extinct species particularly intriguing, and they also offer glimpses of early man's lifestyle in the area. They are hoping to gain a better understanding of the early rainforest's biodiversity as they meticulously examine each cave painting. The paintings give a vivid and exciting glimpse into the lives of these communities. For modern humans, the idea that they coexisted with and hunted enormous herbivores, some as big as a small car, is mind-boggling. 12. The Mystery of the Mapinguari Legend has it that the Mapinguari exists among certain Amazonian tribes. This enormous sloth purportedly dwells in the heart of the jungle, but wildlife specialists are dubious. Tribal members have used the Mapinguari as an integral component of their oral histories for generations. Folklore in those communities claims the beast stands more than seven feet tall with matted hair and an awful smell. Over the years, people deep in the Amazon claim to have seen it in person. To some, the beast has one eye. Others assert it has a gaping, snarled mouth in the middle of its stomach. Local myths hold that the Mapinguari are most aggressive toward people who mistreat the environment within the dense, lush jungles. Unfortunately, scientists haven't been able to find evidence that the giant sloth-like creature really exists, and it's not for lack of trying. Biologists have spent considerable time searching for bones and droppings throughout remote areas of the rainforest. With no hard evidence on hand, they think something else may be going on. Some still think there could be an undiscovered giant sloth roaming in a remote rainforest. 11. The Amazonian Humpback Whale Humpback whales migrate thousands of miles during their lives. During the summer, they make one of their most significant migrations, swimming south to the waters of Antarctica from the Northern Hemisphere. So scientists were shocked in February 2019 when a year-old humpback whale was found dead on the shores of an island in the Amazon River. Locals found the whale calf on the banks of Marajo Island. The whale was found on the beach, upstream from where the river empties into the Atlantic Ocean. The finding of the whale was strange for a number of reasons. First of all, its demise occurred at the wrong time. In the early months of winter, humpback whales frequently seek out the warmer waters of the Amazon basin. They have mostly left the region by the month of February. The fact that the whale was discovered in fresh water, further upstream, perplexed the researchers. Also, there were no obvious wounds on the animal. Then, we eliminated poaching and whaling. The fact that its demise did not coincide with established migration patterns meant that many questions remained unanswered. The whale calf's fate was eventually chalked up to a tragic mix-up, according to biologists. An earlier migration may have removed the baby mammal from its mother, according to one idea. The estuary was its destination because of the small, feeble stream that carried it there during the off-season. Biologists think it became stuck in a mangrove swamp once it got there, and because it lacked the strength to break away, it drowned in the freshwater habitat. Also, scientists wonder whether it could have ingested plastic waste near the shore, hastening its death.
Locals had never seen a whale this far up the river before, whatever the situation may be. And while scientists believe their theories may be a likely scenario, they still aren't truly certain about what happened. 10. The Fire-Tailed TT Monkey In the two years between 2014 and 2015, biologists achieved remarkable success. They spent those two years exploring the Amazon and found about 400 new species. As one might expect, jungles are verdant and dense. So it's not surprising to hear of new discoveries taking place. However, some of these findings were critical to understanding the threatened landscape and its inhabitants. In fact, one, in particular, was especially fascinating. The fire-tailed titai monkey was first recorded in a remote section of the Amazon in southern Brazil in 2010. However, at that moment, there was insufficient data for biologists to determine its classification. Even though there weren't many of them, the creature's brilliant crimson tails were a sight to behold. Another thing that makes it hard to observe them is that they spend their whole lives in trees. Researchers returned to the jungle year after year in the hopes of learning more. It wasn't until 2015 that they began to gain insight into the monkey's personality and habits. Eventually, they officially declared it to be Milton's Titi Monkey. It is named in honor of Milton Thiago de Mello, a Brazilian primatologist. Additional information is scarce due to the monkey's high altitude environment. They are known to live in isolation and maintain a safe distance from others, even among primates. As a result, taking notes has become a tedious procedure. Despite the best efforts of wildlife researchers, their secluded homes have remained a mystery. Today, biologists still don't know very much about these tree-dwelling jungle creatures. 9. The Silkhengers of Peru Spiders spin silk to create webs, which is common knowledge. Unbeknownst to everyone, though, some spiders in the eastern Peruvian rainforests have been making unusual silk structures. In fact, researchers aren't even certain which type of spider is the one doing the spinning. And their discovery was only first made in 2013. But the incredibly intricate designs of these webs have fascinated entomologists ever since. Some have even taken to calling them silk hinges because of how they hold a central cone surrounded by pillars, almost like a silk version of England's Stonehenge. In 2019, tropical entomologist Phil Torres was finally able to capture amazing video evidence of the silk structures. According to Torres and others, spiders create them as a means of protecting their egg sacs. However, Arachnologists have not yet been able to witness the construction of these silk hinges. Without evidence of their construction, experts know little else about the reason they exist, and yet their existence is widespread. Some researchers have found these silk creations in other far-reaching parts of the Amazon basin. 8. The Island of the Dolls Xochimilco is one of two Aztec cities in Mexico that are on the World Heritage List. But the Island of the Dolls, or Isla de las Monecas, has brought the town some notoriety online, despite the fact that Xochimilco itself is a World Heritage Site. Hundreds of dolls and doll parts dangling from trees and scattered in the grass make this place famous, hidden among the area's many canals. The Chinampa, akin to an artificial island, used to be the residence of a now-deceased man named Julian Santa Barrera. After finding a dead girl's body in a nearby canal, Barrera collected and displayed the toys in the hopes of warding off evil spirits. According to urban legend, the dolls have been seen opening their eyes, moving their heads and arms and whispering to each other, adding to the belief that the island is haunted by the spirit of the girl who drowned. 7. The Devil's Tramping Ground A mystery circle lies deep in the North Carolina woods, approximately 50 miles south of Greensboro. No tree or plant will grow there, and no animal will venture near it. Do you know why? According to urban belief, the devil makes his nightly appearance in the 40-foot clearing to stomp and dance. Over the years, the region has gained quite a reputation for paranormal activity. 
People have claimed to see blazing red eyes in the area and to have placed their possessions in the circle at night, only to have them removed the following morning, supposedly so the devil can clean his dance floor. 6. The Aokigahara Forest Despite appearances, this tranquil forest at Fuji's base has a troubled history. Aokigahara, sometimes known as Suicide Forest, has the second highest suicide rate in the world, behind the Golden Gate Bridge. In 2010, 247 people tried suicide here, with 54 succeeding. Some blame this trend on the forest's association with demons in Japanese mythology. Others point towards the density of the trees, which muffles sound and makes it easy to get lost. In fact, many hikers will mark their path with tape or string to make it easier to find their way back out again. The sprinkling of clothing and letters left throughout the labyrinthine woods gives Aokigahara that extra touch that will leave you in a cold sweat. 5. The English Daring Woods You might hear the Daring Woods called the Screaming Woods or think of it as the ideal site for your next family camping vacation. You might want to reconsider that. In the dead of night, guests have heard spine-tingling cries echoing through the woods, while on misty days, they've heard footsteps and whispering. According to popular belief, the screams come from the spirit of a highwayman whom the villagers killed in the 18th century and whose vengeance seems to linger to this day. Others believe the hauntings are the result of a 1948 massacre, where 20 people were supposedly found dead in the forest on the morning of November 1st. Residents reported seeing strange lights emanating from the woods that Halloween night and autopsies of the bodies couldn't determine a cause of death. 4. The Herb That Kills and Cures Fearsome poison arrows were one obstacle the Spanish conquistadors encountered as they began exploring, or should we say, conquering South America. Legends of arrows that stunned and eventually murdered their victims circulated amongst European explorers who made it back to the continent in the 1600s. It took around 200 years before the European invaders figured out the native peoples were preparing a plant paste and applying it to their arrows. But even then, it wasn't until the 1800s that European explorers were able to identify the plant. For a while, it was simply a poison. But if it was just a poison, it wouldn't be that fascinating of a discovery, would it? In the 20th century, an explorer by the name of Richard C. Gill came into being. After developing a neurological problem while horseback riding, he began exploring the rainforest in 1938 with the help of his physician. Among the secrets indigenous peoples shared with him were the different recipes they used for preparing curare poison, which two Canadian anaesthetists realised could be used for different reasons. It took 400 years, but Karari went from poison to lifesaver. 3. Forest of Pukaini in Latvia There's nothing particularly strange about Pukaini Forest at first glance until you notice the mysterious heaps of moss-covered rocks. The scattered nature of these mounds in the forest has given rise to several urban legends and theories among sightseers. Some say the woodland has mystical healing qualities because it was formerly a site of pagan rites. Some even say that you can strengthen your healing abilities by offering sacrifices to the stones in the forest. Some tourists think the forest is evil and might even be a portal to another dimension. The natives say that taking a rock will bring you a string of bad luck, and there have been accounts of people getting sick or even dying soon after emerging from the woods. 2. The Lost City of the Monkey God Rumours about a metropolis in Honduras's forest had been circulating among archaeologists for quite some time. It was sometimes called La Ciudad Blanca, the White City, and sometimes it was called the Lost City of the Monkey God. In 2015, the city stopped being a myth and became very real. Legend has it that the city was founded as a haven for indigenous people fleeing the merciless invasion and massacre at the hands of the Spanish conquistadors. In 2015, researchers reportedly sliced their way through the trees to uncover the long-abandoned ancient city, after scanning revealed a huge metropolis concealed in the jungle. What they found was nothing short of incredible. They also found something else a flesh-eating disease that first rots off a person's nose and lips, and yes, the explorers all came home with it, 
so maybe leave that all to the professionals. 1. The Strawberry Milkshake Lake Put yourself in the shoes of British navigator and geographer Matthew Flinders, who stepped ashore on what is now Middle Island in 1802, and picture the site. Even though he probably wasn't familiar with strawberry milkshakes, that's the most accurate colour comparison you could make based on what he saw, a vivid pink lake. Even his description of rose colour is genuine. The lake was similarly very salty when he and his crew arrived, so much so that they replenished their ship's supplies entirely with the salt that had crystallised along the shoreline. Flinders was the one who gave the lake the name Hillia in honour of a crew member who tragically passed away while the ship was docked at the island. Ah, what do you think of these discoveries? Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.